and Mark went off for a day trip out in wet wheels. And what did you do? I think I went up to start the party. And what have you done with the footage you've done there? I've made a little video. And we're going to see that now. <laughs> Maybe. So last Thursday was Paul went with his brother on the wet wheels cat. Mally and I went up to have a look at Scarborough Castle. Founded in 1138 by William Le Gros, Count of Ormal, I think that's how you say it, it stands on a massive headland of rock with a harbour beside it and developed over the years by many English kings, becoming one of the most important in the north of England. It was a garrison from 1645 and continued in military occupation into the 20th century. So as we start to walk up the hill towards the keep, we're going to have a look over the left-hand wall here because when we came in yesterday, it was blowing a hooli and it was really un bouncy and uncomfortable. But of course today it's as flat as a pancake, which is typical for us. But you can see what a terrific outlook they had. Very confused, rolly sea today. We've been going with the tide, but it's wind against tide. And there's a swell going in this direction and another set of waves coming this way. So it's really bumpy and lumpy. Onwards up the hill to the keep, which was pretty impressive. So this is the keep. It was built between 1158 and 16, 1164 by order of the King Henry II. It had a basement and three floors above, and its angles were carried up as turrets to a total height of about 100 feet. The west wall was demolished by order of Parliament in 1649. All right, it's only three sides, but. It must have been lovely in its day with the fireplaces and the lovely windows and archways. And the fire, for some reason, they put tiles in cement. And the downstairs was used as um, utility and kitchens, I think. Away from the keep and down towards the water edge is a long wall filled with rooms, which would be one or two storey high, and had battlement windows in them. This is the Cock Hill Tower. We have stairs, which I presume would have come up to it. So we would be stood in the tower, I think. The founder of the Quakers was held here for about a year in 1665. This is the next to St Mary's Chapel. It was the Roman signalling station. And this is now all that remains of it. There's a big well. And then this is St Mary's Chapel. And this was built about AD 1000 and rebuilt in the 12th and again in the 14th century. Wow, it stands in the ruins of a Roman signal station built about AD 370 to give warning to Anglo-Saxon raiders before this time. The headland was occupied about 500 BC, Byron Age, settlers from the Low Countries or the Rhineland. And then this is looking in St Mary's Chapel. I think in all this covers about 16 no, it's got to be more than 16 acres, but it's huge grounds and it seems to go all the way around to the cliff edge. The whole way around. So they had a great outlook on anything that was going to attack them. What did you think of your trip up this castle then? It was very good. You enjoyed yourself then? Yes, and so did Mally, but she got very hot and very tired. Okay, so will you be doing another video next? If I get let loose again, yes, maybe. And you enjoyed that process as well? Not really. <laughs>